Hey there guys, today I'm going to be doing a series of tests. I'm going to be testing out the H50 here. It's in a push-pull configuration. It's at running at 12 volts, both stock Cooler Master fans. And my test uh, bench here, as you can see, I'm running the 1090T at 3.9 GHz at 1.5 volts on a UD7 GB motherboard. I have dual 6970s and Crossfire. My Crossfire C300 SSD, just regular optical drive, Corsair 1000 watt power supply, silent gold 1000 watt, uh, Western Digital 2 terabyte HD, HDD, and a 500 uh, terabyte hard disk drive. So that that's my uh, configuration here. So I'll be testing the uh, H50. Let's see how well it performs. As you can see right now, I'm running Prime 95. I just started the run. I'm only going to run Prime 95 for 15 minutes. So as I don't have much time. So I'll be running Prime 95 for 15 minutes and see what uh, what I get here. As you can see here, CPU-Z. You can see what's going on right now. It does have a huge V-drop, V-droop. It started off at 1.5 volts and it'll drop down to 1.41 as HW monitor shows here. The value current minimum maximum as you can see. Okay. So you can see my uh, temperatures which I started out. The first row is what's going on right now. The second row is minimum and the third row is maximum. Okay. And right now, the ambient temperature inside is 25C with a humidity of 50%. So it's this right here. That's the temperature you want to look at. Not the top one. The top one is outside of my backyard. Okay. And you can see the date and the time. Okay, Pacific Standard Time. So, I took snapshots of where I started and where I'm going to end, and I'll write all that down. So, I'll just give you a quick little intro to what I'm doing here. So, right now, I'm testing out the H50, and I'm going to be testing out it against the H100 at the same specs. So, we'll see how that goes when this is finished. I'll let you guys uh, see the results. Alright, guys, I'm back test is complete you can see the temperatures reach a max of 45 C you can see Prime 95 have been running for 15 minutes stopwatch here 15 minutes 42 seconds ambient air temperature inside here is 25 C so <clears throat> I'm going to do the calculations and I'll get right back to you guys. Alright guys, so I showed you guys again a maximum of 45 degrees Celsius on all six cores at 3.9 gigahertz at 100% load running Prime 95 for 15 minutes. The ambient air, air temperature when I took the test was 25 degrees Celsius and it gives you a delta of 20 degrees Celsius. So that is not bad at all. <coughs> Excuse me. So now I'm gonna be I'm gonna go ahead and install the H100, which is over here in my bed right now. Which I did an unboxing of. And I want to show you something guys real quick what I'm gonna be doing here. I ordered these. XASPC Performance PC Water Cooling Brackets here. Ordered two sets. Which I'll be modifying on my tech station. Whoops, I'm dropping the bracket. Here's a bracket, okay. So it's a universal 120 millimeter radiator mounting bracket, but you can mount up to 480 with two of these, which it comes with two. So I got four total. So one for the H100 and another set for two more 120mm fans. 
which I'll be mounting on the tech station. Because I didn't want to mount it like this anymore. Like all crooked like this on the stock mounts that it came with. I'm going to modify the tech station and add the H100 nicely. And I'll be adding two more fans up of the front here. Because that's the only spot I could really put two more fans. So I'll be blowing air to the bottom GPU here mostly. I wish I could find a way to mount fans here. You know what? I might I might mount a fan. One blowing at the GPU and one blowing down going across to the hard drives. So I might I might do that. I think I will do that. So we'll see what what I what I decide to do. So now I'm going to uh, tear apart my tech station, install the H100, do the modifications. I'll get back to you guys and show you the guys uh, run the test on the the cooling performance on the H100 versus the H50, and hopefully there is a significant difference. So I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys, I'm back. I just installed the H100 on my tech station. I'm running Prime 95 right now on it to do the testing. Uh, for about only 15 minutes due to time constraints I have so uh, Prime has just started these are the temps going up they're rising right now as we speak okay again 3.9 gigahertz at 1.5 volts now I'm gonna show you what I did here on the tech station voila H100 installed pretty cool stuff. I'm running this test at the fan speeds at the maximum speed. Now at the low speed, I can barely hear those fans. Not even really not hear them, but at the higher speed, you could hear them more. But actually, like, not really. I could I could bear with this fan noise, no big deal. I also added these two fans here. This is a, a Cooler Master fan, and that's the fan that came with the tech station. I'll replace these with other fans later on, just the only ones I had for 120 millimeter. You can see how I mounted them there with the mounting brackets. I had a drill down there to, to fit them. But hey, I'll show you this some more in another video. This has to do with H100 versus the H50. So we'll see how that goes. You can see there Prime 95 running. There are the specs that I'm running it at. There's the temperature right now, the ambient temperature, which is right there, 20 degrees Celsius as of right now so yeah I'll get back with you guys and see what max temps we have alright guys 15 minutes have gone and passed as you can see here on my stopwatch I have here ambient temperature is 18 degrees Celsius right now at the time I took the readings you can see here 35 degrees Celsius, the max on all cores. Prime 95 is still running. Again, 3.9 gigahertz at 1.5 volts with the V drop to 1.4 volts. So that gives me a delta of 17 degrees Celsius compared against the H50, which my delta was 25 degrees Celsius, which is an in increase of 8 degrees Celsius which is really good I was hoping for 10 but that is really really good I'm really really happy with the results on the H100 so there you go guys that was the video of the H50 versus the H100 and my new tech bench here the new modifications I've made I've added two fans here and the H100. Thank you for guys for watching. Please leave a comment. 
or any questions or comments or concerns, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And I'll talk to you guys later.